It's that time again, Olight sales. So we have some new designs, new products, new materials in some different flashlights. So we'll be talking about that as well. Let's go ahead and get right into it. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start with the best sale items. It wasn't immediately apparent to me. And in fact, I missed it three times over the course of the last couple of days. There is one product that I think you definitely want to consider. It may be your last chance to get it. No, it's not the Baton 3 Pro. What they have on sale are the S2R2 Batons for under $50. Why does this matter? Well, the older generation had a bit of an advantage over the newer one. Although they are not as bright, they have the ability to use standard 18650 batteries. So you can use either the proprietary battery and have magnetic charging, or you can use a generic 18650 in the flashlight and then the magnetic charger doesn't work except being magnetic and that kind of thing. So I wanna bring your attention to that one specifically. I missed it, it was really buried. It was like three posts down and it's definitely something you wanna consider. The other thing I didn't have, I didn't get sent to me, was uh, the knife. So I've seen the Roboto or whatever it's called uh, shown from some other YouTubers. And I've talked with them, I actually have communication with them and they love it. I'm not surprised really. I mean, it's a crossbar lock designed by, you know, built by Kaiser. It's gonna be pretty damn good, especially coming off of things like the Drop Bear and many others. And you can get them kind of in a carbon fiber theme where you can get the knife as well as the I5T or the I3T in a carbon fiber. I think it's this one, which is the I3T in carbon fiber. And I have to say, this is one of my favorites they've ever come out with. I have it currently loaded with a 10440 and it has truly obscene output. In fact, it is brighter than the larger I5R when you put them side by side using this battery type. So really, really cool that you can do that with this. You can't necessarily do that with the larger variant. So that is by far the most complete package. And if you're starting a carbon fiber theme, well, that's even better. There's a couple other things that they released that I think are quite interesting. And I wanted to kind of discount them a little bit, but uh, I have to say, if this is the quality of the smaller variants, I don't think I can ignore the fact that it's really well designed. So we have what is essentially an EDC pouch designed by Olight. And you know it's designed by Olight because they have their emblem literally all over it. It's everywhere. Um, and that's really the only bad thing I have to say about it, truly. Um, all the stitching is done really, really well. They double stitched the areas where the two pieces come together. On the inside, which is where they usually skimp and, and all of that, you can see at the bottom where the seams come together, they've actually added some sheathing as well there, which is usually where they don't bother with anything. And the same thing in the top. Like this is actually a surprisingly well-built little holster. And this is the larger of the two. I think the only one I saw available was actually the small one. And I actually want to try that one as well, because in some ways it might be the perfect wallet uh, with note cards and so on. So I'm actually looking forward to trying that one. And they're under $10. I want to hate on it because of the, the symbols and all of that, but I can't because it's such an easily accessible product that I think a lot of people will get benefit from. So even if it's not my thing from a design perspective, I hope that they will create new versions that have more generic nylon material versus this sort of uh, printed one. I would love to see, you know, matching colorations. I would like to see one in OD green and black. That would be incredible. I would like to see one in red and so on. And you know what? For today, they could have even come up with a American flag theme one. And I probably would have bought a couple of them because that's really, really cool. Speaking of American flag themed stuff, we have the I3T. Sorry. I3T with the American flag. I don't know if this has been done yet. This is a limited quantity for this particular sale. So I'm guessing they have not done it before. They don't usually um, do it again. They don't usually uh, repeat themselves, 
but we can I want to try this real quick because when we tried the what was it this one when we tried no nope, nope, grab the wrong one when we tried this one it didn't wasn't quite as bright I'm curious to see if this is also in the same vein no actually that looks plenty bright so I don't know um, I don't have a tester to check but it does seem about the same as the carbon fiber version so that actually is really great I like that it's not necessarily recommended with the 10440 because you can drain the battery completely and just damage the battery it doesn't have a low voltage protection but the power output around 600 lumens on the high about 50 lumens on the low makes this a really really good pickup and actually these are on sale as well all right so moving on to a couple other things that i want to go over i don't need to make this a very very long video um, i just wanted to draw your attention to those specific sale items they also have the warrior mini 2 which is always great now the baton 3 pro max is a flashlight that i'm surprised makes into my pocket as much as it does it's a 21700 powered flashlight so it has a massive amount of output and runtime with a huge battery check this thing out it's basically the same dimension as the body itself the way they have designed this means you basically have a continuous body that is only slightly wider than the diameter of the of the battery itself this is a one of the few 21700s i can actually put in a holster and have it fit so really really like this one it's currently on sale in orange and you can even get it paired with this in the orange color so very very neat i like that a lot all right so i'm not going to spend too long picking on olight because they're popular but i should mention it's kind of disappointing when a really good product is sold out during the main time frame and uh there's no reserve right so there was a brass version of this with kind of like a distressed american flag and i guess it's not surprising why that one sold out so quickly there was only just over a thousand units and they were gone in the like first or second day of the pre uh pre-sale which you can get access to if you are a gold member or higher I just would love them to, to reserve some of these flashlights, especially ones that are really popular, like the Arkfeld. That, that would have been a good call, and it kind of would give people an opportunity to get access to them, even if they're new you know, members, if that happens to be the one thing that they're attracted to. That's just something I think they should work on in the future. The Arkfeld is one of my most carried flashlights. I, I do end up carrying Olight quite, a, quite often, and both the laser version, which is this one here, or this laser version, which is this one here, and the UV version both get carried. And uh, I do like this form factor a li little bit more, obviously, with the reversible pocket clip, but they're awesome. Okay, the last thing I wanna mention. Um, my primary flashlight over the last month the only one I've been carrying is the Baton 3, and it comes down to the O-Link. This thing has made carrying my keys and flashlight together very convenient, and it helps me kind of stay in the two-clip rule, meaning I have this in my left pocket, this in my right pocket, and I have most of my bases covered, right? So I really like the Baton 3 to the point where I think it's their... It really, it really is their showstopper. It's, it's their best selling light and probably their best example of a light that utilizes that magnetic charging system, especially with the charging case, which is that icing on the cake. They should always have a variant, maybe just one of the colors on sale in every sale. I think that it would really benefit them to always have one of the colors. Like this comes in, I think, two or three different colors that are standard. The red is one of them. And just want to put one on sale. Just it. That's it. Just one on sale would be really, really good. I think that they would sell a lot of them. Like, a lot of them. And it's for good reason. I mean, let's be honest. This is a really, really compact yet powerful flashlight. 1,200 lumens max output. And no, we didn't go through the mode sets or the, all of that. But I assume that if you're watching this, you probably are familiar with the majority of them. 
In the case of the i5R and the i3T, there's only two modes with no mode memory. And then the rest of the user interfaces are practically identical. In fact, the user interface in all of these flashlights is the same. And so I do appreciate that they keep that relatively consistent. But no, not a bad sale. And I actually might end up picking up the small variant of this pouch just to see how the form factor is. Even though I'm not super keen on the pattern, they really did a good job on construction. And for $10, it's hard to beat. Anyway, thank you guys for your time. I do appreciate it. And we'll talk again soon.